Hello everyone. Uh, <clears throat> let's go through a little bit of an update and uh, then we'll talk about this and maybe start building this a little later in the video. Uh, first of all, uh, let's get the painful stuff out of the way. Asus uh, has allowed me to send back the GPU under a second RMA. I ended up complaining to corporate through their email system, letting them know that, you know, the GPU was sent back, still broken, in a box too small, and two new problems had arose. They called me back the next day, that very next morning at 9 o'clock. They were very sorry, uh, very apologetic, but extremely curious on how it was sent back to them, or sent back to me. Uh, so I sent them the unboxing video, the link to it, and they authorized a second RMA. I made a video of the problem happening, put it as unlisted uh, for a specific reason, and they have since received the GPU told me that it was going to take seven to ten days business days to repair and so far nobody's watched the video so I don't know what I'm gonna get back if it's gonna be my video card if it's gonna be something else uh, just don't know but that's where we're at with the Asus thing uh, Desert Bus 2023 they made just shy of 1.2 million dollars in the course of seven days so <laughs> wow uh, as you may have seen uh, I posted a video that's of the the Minecraft crying obsidian gaming PC donation uh, that their VST team had recorded uh, just so I'd have it for my historical records um, it raised just a hair over $22,000 in a raffle style ticket kind of auction uh, so that was super impressive uh, Maz Lunsford is the artist that does the desert bus posters each year uh, he volunteers his time and makes them during the run and he picks what goes on the posters, and my donation was placed on the poster. So even that was that was really cool. Uh, and to make things even more cool, uh, somebody reached out to me after my donation had been auctioned off and won, and they are commissioning me to build them their own Minecraft Crying Obsidian gaming PC, except they wanted to step up the hardware a little bit. So that's what this is all about. Um, I don't have all the pieces yet. Uh, this is my ARC GPU. Uh, I don't have the Noctua cooler that we wanted but a uh, quick rundown is uh, 12th gen i7 uh, 12700k uh, it will have the same Noctua Redo Redux uh, chrome and blackish gray fan uh, we've got the uh, gigabit b660m Aorus Elite AX with DDR4. Uh, I've already unboxed it and checked it out. Gorgeous motherboard. Uh, another two terabytes of Gen 4 NVMe. We've got Corsair RAM. Uh, they ordered new, but it came like this. Uh, it was already opened. The piece, the chips are inside the sticks, 
uh, but one of the plastic containers they were reversed and I don't know if somebody bought just the wrong speed uh, maybe they ordered DDR3 or DDR5 I, I don't know um, so we're going to find out if that works uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that if something is wrong it is either the RGB or one of the sticks itself went bad but we'll find out um, I've got a, a test cheapy power supply here just to kind of get us up and running and the uh, GPU that the person picked is an RTX 4060 Ti so it should be a nice little kick in the pants system um, I've changed the design of the case a little bit same size but instead of using square corner pieces where a bolt runs all the way through and you have to uh, drill and tap the T-slots I have now used these where they slide down into and all you have to do is back the screw out just a little bit and obviously it comes apart now we're not going to put it together today because I still have to cut the inserts and do a bunch of that today I want to assemble this here on the test bench and then get windows loaded and make sure everything works uh, this is just to make sure that the CPU doesn't go nuclear all right <clears throat> let's go into building give ourselves a little monitor there
power LED, power and whatever switch. That would help. LEDs look good so far. Fan spins up. Haven't gotten video yet. Oh, there we go. And it's upside down. Of course it is. something I can set behind you. All right, we're loading windows. Uh, I'll probably just edit this out because reasons. This looks so janky, but we just got to make sure this stuff works. And built-in integrated graphics of the i7 are working just fine. These seem to be working just fine. Um, yeah, digging it so far. I'll be back. Okay, I know it looks janky. I get it. Um, this is the best place I could do this. So, I've got Windows 10 Pro already loaded. The drivers are in. I've been monitoring the temps. Highest this got for the whole install was 64 degrees Celsius. So that's perfectly fine. Not the permanent fan. Just one to do this. And next I'm going to have it do some benchmarking. Just to test out what we've got so far. And... Then, it'll be going to the next phase, which will be building the case and getting this stuff put in. I have a few design changes I want to make, so I need the spacing and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, I will continue working on this off camera, but so far everything's looking good. Everything's behaving as it should. So until next time, thanks for stopping by.